What's up guys, I'm back with another video. We're gonna go over on how to FPS fix H1Z1. Now what is H1Z1? H1Z1 is the, is the open, is the, uh, not open source, I'm sorry, is the uh, new, new uh, zombie game that's been released out by Sony Online Entertainment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna FPS fix it. Do mainly um, editing some files in the game settings and also editing, editing the launch parameters. So I'm gonna go ahead and control all and copy all of this some I have to press it multiple times because sometimes it doesn't um, sometimes it doesn't do what I want it to do now we're gonna I'm gonna load up notepad real quick now as you can see we have a couple of parameters that we need to edit we need to edit this this and this CPU count CPU count is the amount of cores you have so on prior form speci I have a total of two cores so the only reason I'm using Speci is because it's easier to use and, and it's a very useful program. Um, so there's two cores. So copy to clipboard, put the core count to two, which it already is. Put threads, e ex threads. If you don't have threads, any like threads, then you could just go ahead and get rid of it. But since I do, I have to keep it there. So I have four threads, so it copies. <clears throat> now you put in the maximum amount of RAM. So we go to RAM section, you go all the way to size, as it says right here. Uh, max mem is um is uh what do you call it is um is measured by meg megabytes so this is megabytes right here so we could just put four zero nine four zero nine six right there and then we'll be fine um if you are running off of four four zero nine six ram uh i don't think that is under the system requirements for this game um, and it's highly recommended that you get get a RAM upgrade. See, um, you want to reach up to recommended, and RAM isn't that hard to get. So I would highly recommend you to get RAM, more RAM for your computer. I would at least try to get at least eight gigabytes or sixteen gigabytes. I'm playing. I'm already planning on getting sixteen. So yeah. Um, but anyways, that's basically how you do it. This part, and you just copy this whole entire thing. Control. You paste it into there, and then you're done. So after that, we're gonna go to here, go, or go to Steam, go to Properties, go to uh, Local Files, browse the local files. We're gonna look at the game files real quick. So we're gonna go scroll down all the way to User Options .ini. Here you can edit the different uh, settings for the game. Um, you can edit everything up here. Don't mess with anything down here. Anything below here, don't mess with. I would not touch. Um, yeah, I wouldn't touch any of this stuff. Uh, um, I'm not exactly sure what this is. So, I wouldn't touch any of that stuff. I think this is for live streaming though, so I wouldn't bother. But anyways, um, this is what you can edit right here is all that. Uh, I put vertical FOV to uh, 55 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, model quality 1, 0, 0, max FPS. This is also how you unlock your FPS, so you can put up to 600 if you want to. Um, gamma 0, render distance, I would highly recommend you to decrease that to at least 1000. So go ahead and get rid of the 5 and switch it with the 1000. <clears throat> the uh, quality effects of effects quality I'll put that at zero um, if some of the settings don't ex actually work um, try putting them back up and it might fix it but um, what I recommend you to do first is that um, for the game I would highly recommend you to first edit your um, edit your settings from in the game first so whatever settings you already have in the game um, I need you to edit that first or like edit the settings in game before you edit the settings in there so that um, if it's it, just to make sure that when you put it in game that those are low settings and so that um, you can already have all the config the config file generated so anyways guys hope this I hope this helped out you guys on FPS fixing um, H1Z1 there's a lot of errors with this game um, but mainly it's because it's early access, so anybody who's having a hard time playing it, I know everybody is. So anyways guys, please comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one, and have a nice day.